What is up guys, Stephen Cult of Mac here, back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be telling you all about my favourite backpack to date, the Book Pack Pro. So, let's get started. The Book Pack Pro has become part of my everyday carry. I'm constantly travelling back and forth between my home and the office and to different locations for filming. The Pack Pro retails for $295. So it's not the cheapest backpack on the market, but with its level of detail and protection it offers to the $2,000 worth of kit I'm usually placing inside, it's well worth it. The Pack Pro can carry up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro or a 16.4 inch laptop, so it swallows up my 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro no problem. The laptop compartment is protected with a water resistant zipper as well as a rugged ballistic nylon exterior, which also has a waterproof coating, making it perfect for the wet and miserable UK weather. The interior of the laptop compartment is also really nicely padded on either side, so I don't have to worry about my MacBook getting scratched while walking about. There's also padding on the outside, where the backpack would lean against, uh, well, my back. So it's super comfortable, and the corners of the MacBook aren't digging into me. You might also notice the recessed design here in the center, which helps direct heat generated from my back upwards, reducing heat buildup and ultimately sweat. The entire backpack is made from a tough 1680 ballistic nylon to protect the contents from light knocks and drops, and the weed nylon fabric resists abrasion and tearing. Even though it's called ballistic nylon, it's not bulletproof. The term ballistic nylon refers to its intended function when it was developed back in World War II, although it was found to not be very effective against bullets. Nowadays, it's used for items that need to be hard wearing, such as police duty belts. I obviously wouldn't go throwing this backpack about, but it's nice to know that it's more secure than the standard offerings. The pack itself, when it's empty, is super lightweight, which means with lighter items, it stays comfortable for hours on end. For those times I filled it up to the top with gear, it stayed incredibly comfortable thanks to the padding on the back, and the super comfy straps which also have some great padding. Either side of the Pack Pro, there's mesh pockets for fairly large bottles or an umbrella. Uh, on the front, there's a small zip compartment for your wallet or keys thanks to the included lanyard and key ring holder. Inside, there's a ton of pockets and slots for everything you should ever need to carry, and plenty of room in the centre for headphones and hard drives or whatever you need to throw in there. I'm constantly surprised at just how much I can fit in. There's also a secret back pocket for my 9.7 inch iPad Pro, which has a really soft microfiber lining to keep that safe too. Every inch of this backpack either feels rugged or luxury and they've managed to blend those two qualities together really nicely. The leather zippers and detailing on the pockets against the shell-like exterior work perfectly. It's the perfect combination of style and protection. The only downside I do have with the backpack is its shape. Depending on what I've placed inside, the front of the backpack can go slightly misshapen, but it's easy enough to push back out. Finally, and this is one of my favourite features, is the gunmetal frame serial number. In each Bookpack Pro, you'll find a unique serial number which helps you reunite you with your backpack if you lose it. Once registered, Book's Terralink service will help reunite me with my lost bag as soon as someone's entered the serial number online. Overall, this is a solid backpack that I absolutely love. I've been able to try out my fair share of backpacks running this channel, and this is by far the best I've tried to date. If you're looking to upgrade your backpack game, seriously consider the Book Pack Pro. Well, that is it for this video. If you'd like more information on the Book Pack Pro, I'll make sure to leave links in the description down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, that other button works as well. Uh, also, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss videos from myself and Cult of Mac, and I'll catch you in the next one.